Eric Ten Hag losing patience with Andre Onana after costing him a Champions League. Remember, I went ahead and obviously broke down all the games we've gonna hate obviously lose out in the Champions League and the goals we're gonna hate to concede. Most of them are an orchestration of Andre Onana. So welcome to this channel. Smash the like button, comment and share. If you're watching us for the very first time, endeavor to subscribe to this channel so as not to miss out on stories that we do upload in here on a daily. And we are obviously here to obviously see to it that we take you to the next level and give you the best of luck that you guys really deserve. And I've gone ahead to collect a little bit of what Edwin Hag said about Andrew Yonana before before they fly, before they fled back to Manchester and what Peter Schmeichel, one of the historical goalkeepers of Man United that was in the stitches in 1999 as United won a treble. He has also gone ahead and really said certain things and the agent of Ben De Yed has gone ahead to reveal to us the mission as to why they signed for Manchester United and why they should really do the needful and push for the first in place at Manchester United because they might not be very erratic like this guy. So we thank God for the gift of life, the Muslims, Baraklao Fikum, and let's kick start it off with this. Ten Hag, after the game, he said, <clears throat> Andrew Rana is okay, as I said. It's not about individuals. Of course, individual errors in football can make a big difference and you take responsibility for it, but it's always about the dream. So, it was like he was defending him. Ten Hag on Onana's celebration after the second goal and his lack of concentration, he said, it's difficult to make that connection. To see that as a cause, it's the brilliance of Hakimi Ziyech, one of the on the first free kick, he scored so many goals against best goalkeepers in the world that way. So, when you hear all what Ten Hag is going to hate to say about Andrew Nana, in the public eye, he has been really defending him and giving him the cover he deserves. But, but, let's go to McDonald. This guy is David McDonald, my namesake. He's a Manchester United correspondent for the mirror, meaning that he's being briefed in by the club of Manchester United. And what does he have for us? He has told us that Eric Ten Hag has warned Andrew Nana that he can't make any more mistakes. If he makes another, Ten Hag will drop him for Bendayer. Have you heard? Eric Ten Hag has gone ahead to obviously lose his cool. Because he believes that Andy Rana should be doing better and not costing the club left, right, and center. But as it stands, it looks like he's the reason as to why Manchester United is really out of the Champions League. Because the fact is, if you see to it that any team really wins in Copenhagen, Man United is going to be out. We are going to be out if at all we see to it that a team comes in through and obviously collects three points at that fixture. The only way United can get itself through to the round of 16 is simple. United should put to it that a draw comes out as a best result for Copenhagen versus Gatasaray and they make it a point that they beat Bayern Munich at Old Trafford. Those are the permutations. Simple like that, but all to go in your favor you need God by your side. And it's the heavens that know what is really going to happen onto that day. But Eric Ten Hag warning, warning and Yonana, this is not the first time. He warned him and Andrew Yonana never even went to the international break, I think before this one, that saw them play into the World Cup qualifiers. He stayed at Old Trafford and they tried to obviously try the, the, goal, the goalkeeping department tried to say to it that they obviously get the best out of him. And ever since then, he had gone ahead to put in a shift that we can all admit. But after all that, he has gone ahead to cost us again. And in one of the most important games of the season, if he keeps those balls out, then we win that game by three goals to one. That is it. And the frustration would have gone ahead to grow huge into the fans all into the players of Galatasaray because even the fans of Galatasaray after Bruno Fernandes scored a second goal, they really lost. They really lost it. They really lost it. So, but that goal that goes in just 
recharged them and they went ahead to obviously cheer up their guys and they obviously had to take us like that so i think eric ten Hag is right you know sometimes you need to do a very huge change and bring in Bendeir and see whether he can obviously come in through and really take us to the next level we deserve to be at the club of money because we aren't going to be like this forever we need we need something better and we should call from it and this player should obviously get to know that he's paid a lot of money he was bought expensively for a goalkeeper to cost 50 million pounds he must be having something special in it because liverpool bought alison becker for like 60 million pounds so the difference is 10 million pounds so we cannot allow such crap to be happening at the club of man united and andrew nana should really look through himself because after costing us we are going to play against Newcastle. There is Chelsea, there is Liverpool, and very many other teams. So he needs to obviously up his game because if he doesn't up his game, then the manager might obviously show him what we call the exit door. That he is the manager of Man United, Eric Ten Hag, and the story is coming in through from the from the correspondent of United for the Mirror and. Some people will say that might be a far fetch because Eric Ten Hag might be going to use Ben De Yer in eight in the eight games that Andrew Nana is going to keep out from Man United during the AFCON and he might obviously get himself into a very tricky situation. But I would love to see that happen. I would love to see what Ben De Yer has got for the club of Manchester United. We put him in the stitches. If he performs well and outperforms Andrew Nana, then Andrew Nana will have to go on the bench that is it because chances have been given to him even in the games where Eric Ten Hag would have gone ahead to obviously get Ben De Yer and put him in between the stitches especially the two games he played in the Carabao Cup against Crystal Palace and against Newcastle Ten Hag just went ahead to obviously put in Andrew Nana because he wanted to obviously not pile pressure onto him as if at all Ben De Yer went into those games and really played very well and Andrew Nana went ahead to continue putting out such pity mistakes that cost the club of Man United with the fans would have gone ahead and said Mr. Eric Ten Hag it's high time we dropped this guy and really got in Ben De Yale to play into the goalkeeping department of Manchester United and to show you that seriousness is really huge and Eric Ten Hag is really ready to obviously make these changes he has gone ahead and really said that we were very happy with our goal. We are very, we are, we are, we are very happy with our goalkeepers. They are doing well. They have to push each other. We are happy with Ben De Yale. He's getting used to English football, European football. We are happy with the process. He has to be patient, but if he works well and continues to improve, he will have his chance. So, Ten Hag has promised Ben De Yale that his chance is coming. Ten Hag has spoken to the media about it and i'll never never doubt eric ten Hag when he talks about a chance because if the first choice goalkeeper is being outperformed in training by the second choice goalkeeper then ten Hag will take that decision that is it and that decision is one of those that i would love to say to it that it's being taken very very soon because sometimes when you don't bench a goalkeeper like Andrew Nana, he won't get to know that he is irreplaceable. That is it. Because all those chances are going to hate to really cost the club of Man United. All those goals are going to hate to cost the, the, the team of Man United are really very, very huge. And for your information, that not only stops on to what is going to hate to cost the club, but the money, the Champions League money, because when you qualify out of the group stages, there is some huge money that you get. And who knew how United was going to look if when Casemiro returns, Lisandro Martinez returns, Ahmad Diallo returns, and after reinforcing into the general transfer window as the draws will be made on the third, on the fourteenth of December. You get so it's really a very huge chance that you are being denied by Andrew Nana to go through the group stages and really sort ourselves later with the likes of Casemiro back, Lisandro Martinez, you know, Luke Shaw is back, Veran is here, you know, Ericsson, if at all Ericsson gets back, that means we can obviously get in 
to the best teams in February and obviously put them onto our sword, you know? So, after that, we have something from the agent of Bendayel. He has been speaking to to Yako Sabchonglu and Sports Digitali or Sports Digital down in Turkey. He has said <coughs> Bendayel wants to take over as Man United number one choice goalkeeper before Andrew Nana goes to the AFCON. That's his goal. Man United fans are actually oppressive on this issue. I hope Bendayel will be able to move into goal in the near future. So, we've seen this happen, you know. The more the first choice goalkeeper continues to make mistakes, the more the second choice goalkeeper is charged to obviously take over that position. And when you hear his agent speak, he wants Bendayel to take over even before and Yonana goes to the AFCON. Because when he goes to the AFCON, obviously Bendeir will be the one responsible to meet the stitches of Man United. But before he goes, the agent believes there is room for him to obviously gate his goalkeeper in between the stitches. And the fans are oppressive and they want it to happen. Now it's in the hands of Eric Ten Hag. But you're going to hate to hear Eric Ten Hag. He has told you that he wants this guy. He wants... Sorry, he's considering Bendeyel to obviously take over if at all he continues to push and Yonana to the bench. Let's wait and see how that pans out. But uh, in the game of Newcastle, we all know that Ten Hag is obviously going to get in and Yonana to come out and, and really uh, exonerate himself. Then Peter Schmeichel said, I think all four defenders played very well today. I don't think they could have done much more. But again, the goalkeeper's mistakes are very, very costly. Obviously, the mistakes of the goalkeeper costed us. And everyone saw it in under the floodlights that Andrew Nana went ahead to cost us. And there is something I've gotten in from the Manchester Evening News that Schmeich has gone ahead to hint about. He has said, the mistakes by the goalkeeper are very, very expensive. Every time a goalkeeper makes a mistake, it's a goal. That is just a fact of life. Every little mistake you make is penalized. So, if there is a person that you would love to see make very few mistakes on the field of play, it should be the goalkeeper because the goal is always behind him. And the, t the moment you go past him, then the rest is history. And you just go ahead and obviously go past him and really put that ball into the back of the net. So... That's what I had for you. Do you think Andrew Nana can be benched by Eric Ten Hag and Bendeir is being given a chance to come in through and really do his job? All that and more into the comment section below. And what do you make about the agent of Bendeir saying that his agent, sorry, his client wants to push Andrew Nana out of the starting 11 of Man United before he even goes for the AFCON? May. The living to God bless you abundantly. Rokan David is my name. I sign up for now. See you later as the Muslims. Barak Laufikum. We are out.